Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox tutorial. Today we are doing another object competition video. So as you can see we are doing two masks right here. So yeah, there it is there. So yeah, before we begin guys as well, just a massive massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed, left a like and all that good stuff because things are going really really well at the moment. So yeah, just a massive thank you. I mean the sub count, pretty crazy stuff and I saw a lot of you um, really liked last video as well. So massive thanks to all the likes on there. Um, but yeah, anyways, just, just get straight into it. So um, yeah, competition, like I said, we're doing two mass, and you probably saw by the title. So yeah, here is the uh, regular one in the game, and yeah, it's pretty much just resembles what a brown dwarf, a regular brown dwarf in the game would look like. So it's just a hot gas giant, and it doesn't cool down no matter what you do due to its size and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and pause the sim though, and let's search up what stuff you guys have sent in. So I've not seen any of these yet. Oh, look at these. These are looking pretty cool. All right. So you had um, a lot of contenders for this one as well, actually. So yeah, first off, we'll start with PDT Marks. So he's got two Mark here. So let's go ahead and place that in there. So here we go. So he's gone with a banded version of the um, hot one here. So there it is there. Those bands actually look pretty cool. All heated up, don't they? Look at that. Definitely looks better than that, 100%. You've definitely done a beat in this thing out of the window. I mean, yeah, that's to me, that is definitely looking better. So yeah, there is that one. Next up, we got Cho Lewis's one. So let's place that in here. So he's gone with a pinkish coloured version of two mass as well. Looks a little funny from this sort of angle. Like it's pink on one side, then yellow on the other side. Look at that. That's pretty... Um, pretty funny indeed you can see in the south here it doesn't have the pink but in the north there is pink that is peculiar i kind of want to cool this down can i can i see what it looks like so that's what it looks like underneath so that so it's got red in the south i think i've seen this object before off the top of my head i'm not sure uh, what was it i was about 2000 wasn't it so that's the way it was intended to be looked at so yeah there it is there next up we got blues one here so let's go ahead and place this one in here there we go so this one is a very darkened one by the looks of it. A very dark maroon red um, looking object right here. So there it is there. I wonder how. I wonder why it's so cold. Yeah, well, the other ones are pretty hot. Um, now moving on to Zane B's one here. Oh, this one's tiny. Look at this little two mass. It's way too small. <laughs> Look at it. Hey. It's like the size of uh, Neptune or Uranus almost. So here it is here. So his is a lot colder in temperature as well. So it's going for red and black sort of colour theme there as well so it's gone flash out just can get a full look of it so yeah pretty dark object indeed as well so there it is there what does it look like if you heat it up look to 2000 i still it looks the same as anything else okay about 1000 any difference there yeah it has to be at 500 to see the the actual changes so there we is there right now moving on to casper's one this one looks pretty blue that's very blue and this is actually the blue gasser object i actually have a copy of this so yeah there it is there Pretty unique for um, two mass, I have to say, but does it really fit what two mass is? That's what you got to think about on these. So I want to pick one that actually um, seems pretty realistic for this sort of object. So there is that. Next up, we've got another little small one. We've got um, Gigaman's one here. He's gone with a purple and blue sort of colour theme there. Now that would definitely look good as a custom Jupiter as well, I have to say. You uh, did a bit of the bands up here, made that blue a little thinner. That could work really well as a custom Jupiter, I have to say that. That could work. That's, that does look good. Um, so there is that. Next up, we've got Lyra's one here. I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong. So here it is here. And it actually looks like a bigger version of Zane's one. If we compare that to this little guy. It's also rolling with the red and black colour theme. You can see, obviously, the bands are in different orders. But, yeah, very similar indeed. It's also got a blue trail on it by the looks of it. So, yeah, there it is there. This one is pretty big as well. So... There we go. Next up, we've got Mad Planet Guys once. So this is his first ever object for one of these competitions. So here it is here. So he's new to modern as well, I believe. And this one's looking pretty funky with the white bands on it, isn't it? Look at that. Also at 500 degrees there to get the um, hot clouds to appear. So there we go. Looking good. Right, and then next up, we've got um, U20's um, two mass here. And wow, look at the bands on that. Wow. Ooh. Almost reminds me of a, f a German flag or something like that. One of the country flags. Oh, it's got some other colours in the south. Oh, that's very fancy, isn't it? Look at that. So, yeah, there is all of the two masses. So, there we go. Let's line them all up now. Oh, it's a little... Um, I'm not sure about this one, I have to say. Very... Got a very uh, big range of objects here. Is that about the... Oh. whoops a daisy That's too big. Let's place that in again. There we go. So, let's delete that. We don't want um, a black star in here. So, there is that. Right, there we go. Yeah, we don't want a, we don't want a black dwarf. So, there we go. so how lot? I need to make it to 215. Okay. So, let me quickly. Actually, I'll just pull it to 200,000. There we go. That makes things easier. 
Oh, come on, no! We can't make it any bigger! I'm gonna have to use the lock features. Ah, never mind, we'll just use the lock switched off then. That's just annoying. So, there we go, let's turn around. Where, where are they are? There we go. So, there we go. Right, so out of these, ooh. I do have to say, I do like the hot ones. I have to say, all of the warmer temperature ones over these. So, I believe this this object's supposed to be quite a hot planet, or, or hot object. I'm, it's, a, it's a hot planet, isn't it? So... I think it's a hot planet. It's like a brown dwarf-like sort of thing. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I've, I've never really looked into two mass. I'm pretty sure it is a brown dwarf sort of thing. So, well, we know it's a hot gas giant, so leave it at that. So, at least, I've got to say, this is definitely better than that, 100%. And I definitely like the, this pinker one as well. I like that more than the regular stock version as well. But between these two, bands versus color, which one, which one do you think is better out of those two? I'm not sure. Alright, then we have um, Casper's one. Now, this one, yeah. does the blue really fit this object? Like, if you think about it, we're going for, like, we're going to try and go for, like, which one would you think would look the most realistic for this? But does a blue object, as mighty as as mighty as it is, it looks great. But does it really fit a two mass um, qualifications for a two mass object? That's, that's what's um, bringing up, like, flags in my head, I guess, about that one. Then we have the two, um, these two here. Obviously, we got this one is very similar to um, Zane's one um, down at the end there as well. So, ooh, I'm not sure. It's, it's not hot enough. I mean, the temperature doesn't really matter. So, obviously, you can cool that down. This one here is very, very dark. It almost reminds me of Trey's 2B. So, we got that one there. Then we have the banded ones. And now, this one has that green, purple in the bottom. That doesn't feel sort of right with the other bands. Like... Looking at it from the top, it looks good. But if you look from underneath, it looks a little too rainbow-like. If you um, guys have seen what I mean here. Remember, this is all opinionated as well. What I'm saying is just what I think. It's not a fact. So please keep that in mind um, for these videos. Everyone can have their opinion. This is just my personal uh, preferences and opinions. Let me have Mad Planet Guys one again. I, d I do have to say, I do like the white bits on it. But let's see. Yeah. Then this one does look really good as well. But it's still... I think that could definitely work as a custom tube to in the right colours, I think. And then we have um, this one at the bottom here, which is very similar to um, Lyra's one. That was that Zane's one there. Those two are very, very similar, I have to say. I am liking where that is, but if you put it to what it should be, it just looks like a normal one. So, put it like 750s if it looks any... Yeah, see, I, I'm going to review them as the way they're intended to be. So, that's how he presented it. I'm not going to change the temperature on any of these guys. Oh, this is a difficult one. I'm, I haven't been this stuck in a while. I mean, two mass. I'm, I don't know much about two mass. I've never really looked into it. I've always just known it as a brown dwarf um, look-alike object. So I'm just gonna. So it's the okay. So I'm just quickly up. So it is it a brown dwarf? I'm not entirely sure. It's an ex. Apparently, it's an exoplanet. Okay. So it's not a brown dwarf. Okay. I can see where some of you are coming from. Looking at some concept art here, it's a dark red colour. So I can see, um, and I can also see a banded one as well. Like a very okay. So I can see where some of these are based off. Then, because that that concept art. So it's a lonely planet. Okay. Oh, I think I remember this now. Yeah, I just had. To, I needed something to trigger my head. Um, yeah, two masses. That one with that crazy orbit, isn't it? Yeah. This this the orbit of this is bigger than suns or bigger than stars and stuff. This is a massive orbit this thing has so okay right so that's a good refreshing or refresher there so this one here actually matches that concept art quite well but eh, it doesn't it's very dark isn't it i'm not sure how to say there's like two sort of sets here we've got the bright ones and we have like the ones that aren't glowing what does this look like underneath that oh we can't really see damn it can't see what's underneath it no no we literally cannot see that's quite annoying so let me have this one. Between these two, though, oh, I'm not sure. I mean, I do like that sort of pinkish tint to it, I have to say. But for, like, it doesn't look right with having the pink here and then the yellow underneath. If he's, like, it's like it's like half a job, almost. It doesn't... Hmm. This is a difficult one. I, I'm not sure. It's, I'm really, really stuck. I'm not, I'm not sure which which one to pick at all for this. I am liking this one. I definitely think the dark red looks better than the light red. I have to say. I think the light red's a little too extreme, but with that darker red. I am liking that. I 
Hmm. I'm going to pull this one forward. Actually, I'm going to make it bigger as well. It's way too small. Can I at least put it up to two? Okay, that worked. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was going to turn into a star, but I'm liking the way that looks, I have to say. So I'm going to put that into my like my final two, but out of mm, out of the other ones, what, which one would go against it? This one I do like, I have to say, but the colours seem a little extreme, I have to say as well. I mean, it does look pretty interesting, but those, those colours at the bottom really sort of pull up flags for me as well in my head like pull up some like, red flags i guess it doesn't like from the top that does look cool but at the bottom it, it looks like too much like a rainbow banded object if you if you see where i'm coming from here those bands don't do, do you, like is it just me or do you guys agree with me that those bands don't sort of match the rest of the object if you got i mean because we've obviously got a red and orange yellow sort of color scheme with a bit of white and black but then we have these random colors at the bottom like, does that really match it like uh, looking at the image on the right here, that looks good. But when you would do this, when you look at it like that, those bands sort of... I think they're too stand out a little too much for me as well. So, yeah, there are those. Then we have Giga Man's one again. I am like, I do like the way it looks. I like the way the bands are presented. But does the purple colour really work for this sort of thing? And then the same with um, the blue one here from Casper's. They look great, don't get me wrong. But do they, to, for me, they don't sort of match what a two mass is I mean, obviously we don't know what the real one looks like but the real one shows more of a reddish object the red black sort of type and then going off the art these two don't really match it but obviously we don't know what it looks like again so the art is only a suggestion of what it could be but either way i'm still not sure purple or blue really feels right for an object this large and the and especially at this these sort of temperatures as well does blue really work i mean that's eh, it's quite a difficult one but yeah, I can't even really... This one is really difficult. I think it's probably one of the hardest comps I've ever had. I have to say, this one, I'm really struggling with this. Yeah, you guys, let me know which one you think is the best down below out of all of these. Because I'm really struggling with this stuff. Damn, I, I really don't know. I, I really... Oh, this one is really, really challenging competition, I have to say. I'm really... You've really got me stuck on this one. I really, I really don't know. I, I I, am lost. I'm, I'm not sure which one to pick. That is... Some very interesting ones here. Very unique all in their own way as well. Obviously, none of them... The only two that could really compare are these two. But still, they're different. They're in different ways. Obviously, yeah, the two red and black ones. But I think I'm going to go with Zane's one here. I, I know I... I do like the red and black stripes. The, the red isn't too bright like it is on this one here. Because I think the red stands out too much on this one. But compared to this one here, I think the red and black does blend quite well with the darker sort of brick red. Rather than the regular bright exotic red. So... I'm also liking he, how he left it at 500. I think the hot clouds do look pretty good with the red and black colour theme there. And I am liking that. So, yeah, you guys um, let me know um, what your opinion is um, in the comments as well, guys. Because remember, this isn't a... Um, it's not on a fact. It's all an opinionated thing, this. So, if you think different, then that's fine. Let me know which one you think is the best. Let's hear um, what you guys have to say on this as well. Um, but, yeah, pretty interesting comp, I have to say, overall. Definitely a well done. For everyone sending these in, a massive thank you as well for everyone who participated for today. Because um, yeah, we have some. Everything is different in its own way. Like they're all different. Um, obviously, we got the the two or the the three bright glowing ones. Then we have the the dark one. Then we got the crazy bands. Then we got the exotic colors. Then we got like the dark red ones. That those ones sort of match the concept art. But yeah, for me, even without the concept art, I do like this one. I have to say. So yeah, that that be my pick for today. So congrats, Zane. You are today's winner for the two mass competition. So yeah, there we go for that. And also, guys, obviously, if you um want to um decide um what we're doing next, then go ahead because I'm I haven't got any ideas um for what we can do next um at the moment. And it's um obviously I like doing this to you guys. Um, it's for you guys to show off your creations as well. So you guys, let me know which one do you want to see next. What object could we do? Um, because I was thinking of like a Saturn or a Venus. I know someone did say we should do a Venus, but what do you guys want to see? Let me know. Because obviously you guys are the viewers. You decide what we do here. So, yeah, let me know um, what you want to see in next episode. And also, if you want to send an object, go ahead and join my Discord. Link is in the description. You could, there's a whole channel for uploading competition objects there. So go ahead and do that. Or if you... Um, have me on discord and um, you don't want to do it on the server you can send it in private messages as well but the thing with that is sometimes i do miss and forget about them so i have done it in the past as well where people have sent stuff in and i've just completely forgot it was there because i always go to the chat to find it so yeah apologies um for everyone i've done that to in the past but it's quite hard if people send them in dms and in the main chat it just gets lost in text sometimes as well so yeah just upload it in the, in the channel chat because that is i never miss them there but 
yeah, sorry if there was any, in, maybe today I missed one, I'm not even entirely sure, but um, yeah, definitely go ahead and send them in that Pacific chat, because it really makes things a lot easier for everyone, so yeah, there we go, there's that, but yeah guys, let me know which um, object you think is the best as well, because I'm really interested to hear what you have to think on this, because um, this was a really challenging one for me to pick a winner for this, we are also a massive thank you and well done to everyone for sending these objects in today as well, and yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video as well, guys. And, yeah, like I said, let me know which um, object you want to see next. And, yeah, remember to send them in the correct chat um, in my Discord as well if you want to send one. Because we have had some people send them in the wrong chat before. So, yeah, just uh, make sure you send them in the right place there. Um, but, yeah, that is it. So, yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.